Um, hi, Sarah Mack coming to you live on understanding why being visible as a creative is such an important part of your work and how telling your story will bring you everything you desire and why you don't need to listen to anyone else's marketing strategy. So um, let me just turn my light up a little bit. This is um, going to be a really juicy one. And um, it's thinking, looking at the bigger picture and really understanding why it's important to do your marketing. And we've got some troubles in kittens about to knock everything over on the table. He's purring away. This is potato. Um, and how um, really embracing it and being visible and leaning into that will bring you more happiness than you could ever have imagined, no matter how scary it can feel at the beginning. Um, and why that's really important, particularly in this moment that we're living in and why it's different than the way things have been done before. So um, as, a, as a writer, I support people with intuitive marketing um, because you actually already know where to go and you know who to be to attract the people that are ready to co-create with you. So whatever type of opportunity it is you're looking for in your life, whether that's a relationship, whether that's clients, whether that's collaborations, whatever it is, you know exactly what it is that you are being called to do that will get you there as quickly as possible. And the only things that stand in our way from having that clarity is, you know, our old regulars, self-doubt, lack of self-belief. Um, and the other big one is your fear that it won't be good when you get what, what it is that you desire. The fear of judgment, the fear of criticism, the fear of rejection. So, um, the cool thing is, is we get to transcend all of those things by leaning in to being visible, that, that thing that we are afraid of. And there's a really good reason why this is an important part of your work, and I'm going to go into that. Um, but you can't skip the visibility part, because that is what is required of you to magnetize these opportunities because people need to see you and they need to be invited to play with you um, and you have to make the ask and you know unless you are some kind of high level spiritual gangster who can just have an, an image in your mind and then magnetize it to you into your reality um, without leaving the house and without talking to anybody and without being visible online. And I'm sure there are people out there who do it, but if that feels like a stretch for you, then you're going to have to engage in some things that are going to convince you that you are taking the actions that you need in order to unfold the reality that you desire to see. And it will be as hard or as easy as you believe it needs to be. And that's where the mindset work comes in to your marketing because but when you're visible, and I'll go more into why this is an important part of your message, but when you're visible, visible when you're being who you are, um, the world changes as a result, especially as a creative, especially as a woman. Um, and this is why authenticity is such a, you know, a hyped up buzzword, especially in marketing at the moment. But it's really what is being called up for from us. It's what people desire to see. It, what it's what is most engaging to us because it's different to generally how things have been up until now. And the world changes when you tell your story and when you're visible, because a lot of the times the stories that you're telling, if you're listening to this, if you're a part of my tribe and my audience, is they're stories that haven't really been told. They haven't been mainstreamed. You're probably still a part of a counterculture because if you're a woman, you're a counterculture. And if you're a healer, if you're an artist, um, you know, if your story hasn't been told and people aren't familiar with your story, you're changing the world when you tell your story and you're calling out all of the other people who resonate with that and who desire to see that and who need to see that reflected back to them in the world around them who maybe haven't seen that reflected back to them up until this point or haven't seen it very much enough for them to get to the point where they value and recognize those parts within themselves that you are reflecting back to them. And those are the people who are gonna love working with you and who it's gonna be really fun for you to work with. These are your dream clients, right? So, and telling your story brings you everything that you desire because when you show up and you serve in the way that you're being called to serve, you create connection, you create opportunity, 
you create a chance to serve others, you create money, you create freedom, you create all of those things in ways that you probably didn't foresee yourself able to create them. Um, and you know, that's exactly the way that it's unfolded for me. I didn't even realize I was a writer until five years ago when I started working as a writer. And it's often that thing that you, you know, that is so, comes so naturally to you that you don't even recognize it as a thing of value because it's like breathing to you and you can't imagine anybody else not having complete ease and capability in that particular region. But that's why all of our skill sets fit together so that we can support each other. And, you know, for me now, I literally write whatever the hell I want. <laughs> um, I write when I want, from where I want, for who I want. A lot of it's for me. And there's nothing more liberating and fun than that. And I get to share my message, the one that's coming through me, the one that is, you know, just running through my veins every single day. And as a result from that, I get to create everything that I desire in my life. So, and I never designed that. I never, you know, brainstormed that. I never created a business plan for that. Um, it simply unfolded by me showing up and being visible and telling my story and really speaking from the heart about what I felt was important, sharing the message that I wanted to tell and enjoying that and allowing that to flow through me. And in doing so, I've called out the people who have been magnetized to my work, who it has been easy for them to come and work with me. And it's been really fun working together. You know, I gave up working with people who I don't enjoy working with a really long time ago. And that brings happiness, that brings freedom, that brings fulfillment. And I'm also earning more money than I've ever earned in my entire life. Not only that, but creative entrepreneurship has literally broken the ceiling of my capability to earn. I can earn however much money I wanna earn, just being me. And that is the beauty of having a personal brand and bringing your story to that brand. And if you're wondering how to tell your story and how to tap into that flow so it's easy, so it's fun, so it's natural, and so that it's genuine and it magnetizes the people that most resonate with that, um, send me a message and let's have a conversation because that's exactly what I support people with in getting into a place where you're in flow, where the fear and the noise and the self-doubt is no longer getting in the way from you creating consistency and being able to create a consistent income by showing up and being visible in whatever way you are most feeling called to share your message and to share your story and to reach people. Um, obviously online is such a powerful way to do that. So if this is resonating with you, if you've been feeling a bit stuck, if you've been feeling like you don't know which parts of your story to share, how to share it, how to put into words what it is that you're doing and what's too much, what's too personal, what is gonna, you know, what, where are you holding back? Where are you blocking yourself from really getting to that next level of magnetism in the work that you're doing? That is, you know, that is the big breakthrough that when that happens, it doesn't matter how many followers you have on social media. It doesn't matter um, how big your email list is. None of that shit matters when you are showing up magnetically and authentically and being visible in the way that you're being called to be visible. Um, because that's when people start to become drawn to you. So, and that's why the mindset part is so important when it comes to your content strategy and the stories that you're telling yourself become, um, you know, you, you start to live that. You start to realize whatever it is you believe is possible. So, um, I'm super excited to dive more into this work. If it's calling you, send me a message and let's set up a time to chat to see where you're at and um, what kind of support you're looking for. And if you have any questions around content strategy, around marketing, around getting yourself out there, maybe you're pivoting or shifting, whether it's a new, a new business or a new way of working, you're launching a new program, you're going through a transition, well, that's when all of the self-doubt and the insecurities get triggered and that's when that's your invitation to let go of them and move through them and start to embody that different way of being. So if that's you, send me a message. I'd love to connect and hear what you're up to and send me some hearts and likes. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with anyone you think would benefit. And um, thank you so much for watching. Bye.